So has there ever been a time in your life where you physically couldn't do a photo or video shoot for six months? Pretty scary thought, right? Well, back in May of 2023, I got into a pretty brutal motorcycle accident. And listen, before I go any further, this isn't a what was me story. It's just something that happened and it painted a very clear picture of how I had actually built my business up in the best way possible to weather the storm that was coming my way. Anyways, as I was laying in the emergency room waiting for the results of my x-ray, of course the panic started to set in. I couldn't help but think that that I was screwed. You know, I wondered what I would do and how I was gonna make money. It took me a couple of days, but eventually after the panic faded, I realized that I was actually gonna be okay. I called my guy, John, from the hospital. I said, John, I broke my leg, buddy. And he said, Hey Jay, I, I got you, I'll take care of everything. John stepped up and he did all the work on the ground for me for six months straight, no questions asked. And he's just one of the three reasons why my business was able to earn me around 10K per month while I've recovered from debt. These three things together create what I've coined my three pillars of business success. A precursor to a course that I've built, which is gonna teach you how to find the right clients, sell to those clients, and do the projects that you actually want to do. I'm also gonna teach you how to find your very own avatar in the form of a subcontractor, maintain client relationships, and make your clients more sticky, as well as some awesome bonuses like mindset training and the templates that I use in my own business every day but that's all later I know you're here for the three pillars of business success so let's dive right in being a full-time photographer and filmmaker is super hard it's a pursuit of passion and you deserve to be compensated for the work that you love doing using all of the gear that you've invested into to make your films and your photos but selling yourself can be exhausting sometimes it feels like you push the boulder all the way up the hill only for it to roll back down to the bottom again and you're back at square one you know in the back of your mind that you can find the clients you actually want to work with and that you can make a lot of money doing it but where do you even start maybe you're shooting a bunch of random projects and you could care less about the businesses that you're working with you don't know where your next paycheck is coming from and the walls are starting to close in you wonder if you need to get a day job if this is even doable and how people are even doing this now before I go any further here you have a big question to ask yourself do you want to keep praying that the phone rings or do you want to take control of your business and learn the tried and true methods that kept me earning 10k per month even with a broken leg if you're still here, then congratulations. You have committed yourself to learning the top tier business skills that 95% of creatives have historically had a really hard time with. So let's get right into the three pillars of business success. After my motorcycle accident, I quickly realized that I already had everything in place that I needed to make a speedy recovery without my bank account taking too massive of a hit. Now, accidents aside, imagine how it would feel to have that kind of peace of mind in your day to day. Imagine having everything financially covered and then any more income on top of that was just a bonus. All right, grab a pen and paper and jot some notes down. The three pillars of business success are to find internal and external talent, to establish residual projects, and to maintain client retention. Because I had these three things in place, I was literally making money from bed. Not that I want it to be, I mean, I miss walking and stuff. So here we go. The first thing that you want to do to revolutionize the way that your business operates is to find internal and external talent. As I mentioned, John was a major reason why my business was able to keep afloat while I recovered in bed. He came to me about three years before my accident and I taught him how to be my ideal employee. But not just an employee, I got the most out of John because I taught him how to be an entrepreneur. In his first month of working with me, I put him through the ringer. I paid John to come to shoes with me and to even just come hang out in the office while I research possible clients to work with or while I edit it. I paid him to sit in front of a computer and take a color grading and editing course and there was even a time when I went camping and I left him at home to deal with a high pressure edit. I threw him into the fire time and time again and he just figured it out. Over the years I taught him everything I knew without holding back. I gave him gear that I didn't need anymore and slowly gave him more responsibilities and more money. This was huge. He gained a massive amount of respect for me because I treated him with respect. Now aside from the obvious which is that he's been a massive help in my day to day. What do you think happened while I was healing for six months? John took over all of the client shoots that we had on retainer. He edited for me until I had the strength to take the edits back over myself. And he stepped up time and time again and I'm forever in debt to him. But remember, this was only possible because I gave him the room and freedom to grow as an entrepreneur. So that covers finding internal talent. Do yourself a favor and find yourself a John. Moving on to finding external talent, it's very much the same process except these individuals aren't as connected to your day-to-day -day business operations. Over the years, I got out into my community and I made friends with other photographers and filmmakers. I would hire them for shoots and they would hire me for their shoots as well. This all happened because I didn't look at them as my competition. They were always my collaborators. Now, these relationships are a great segue into the second thing that you want to do for your business, which is to establish residual projects. A rule of thumb for me is to always be marketing 
marketing and networking. I'm always talking about what I do and I'm always having conversations about potential projects. Because I was in the habit of doing this, I had two massive jobs that had been in the works for about a year come to fruition about a month or so after my accident. There was only one problem and that was that I obviously couldn't walk yet. Oh! So I reached out to a filmmaker that I've done a few projects with in the past and I hired her to shoot the one job and then I had a photographer shoot the other job for me. Since most of the money is made in the edit anyways, I sent them their half day rates and the rest of the profits were for me because I could edit from bed at this point. This was only possible because I had found some external talent and because I had established residual projects. So always network and always keep your pipeline full. Now the third thing that you'll want to do to get some regularity and predictability in your business is to maintain client retention. Something that happened a lot during COVID was these massive shoot cancellation scares. I would put a bunch of work into planning shoots, which meant profits, only for something to get canceled at the last minute, which obviously meant no profits. It didn't take many of these instances for me to realize that I had to solve this problem Problem fast. So I looked around at my most regular clients and I made a pitch to some of them. At the time, there was one client in particular who it was an absolute no-brainer for. That client was a construction company and he signed a one-year retainer for us to create all of their content, distribute it on their socials, and to run their website as well. I then took this template and I applied it to two more clients over the next couple of years and there you go. I now had a guaranteed 10k per month every month and the rest was just bonus profit. While I recovered, I had enough to pay John and to keep a roof over my head. So listen, I know that you probably haven't had a terrible accident like I did, and I hope that you never do, but the big takeaway here is this. This accident, it tested the strength of my business systems and my strategies, and they obviously passed with flying colors. So I've now taken what I've learned and I've condensed it into easy to absorb modules with action items and the templates that I actually use so you can inject them directly into your own business. With all that being said, I don't know where you're at in your business, but whether you're just getting started or you've been at it for a few years now, according to the Bureau of Labor Stats, the video production industry is going to grow by 29% between now and 2030. So you're definitely in the right field and I'm offering you an opportunity to take a massive leap in scaling your business, skipping over the years of trial and error that I had to go through to get to where I am. Now, I know that you can take all the information that I've shared with you in this video today and you can use it to make more profits and finally gain the control over your business that you're looking for. So please do that. I'm happy to help. But if you want to learn more about maintaining a healthy mindset, Set, doing market research, building out lead lists, and then cold emailing and cold calling the people on those lists so that you can get the clients you actually want for the budgets that you deserve, then I would love to help you out even more. This course is different from most other filmmaking and photography educational options. If you go to film or photography school, you absorb a bunch of knowledge and you learn the skills you need to be a photographer or filmmaker, but it takes years, it gets you further into debt, and then what are you supposed to do? If you go the route of YouTube, where do you even begin and how do you know which information is accurate and which information isn't? There's a lot of great online courses out there as well. I've taken them and they've skyrocketed my success as a business owner. The only problem is that these courses focus pretty heavily on the skills required to make great photos and films, but they lack the depth and clarity on the business side of things that you're gonna to need to be successful. So how are you supposed to make money shooting the things you love with those skills that you've acquired? This is why I've taken all the lessons that I've learned from five plus years of failures and successes and condensed them into this multi-module course with action items and customizable templates that I use every single day. I've designed it as something that I wish I would have had access to when I was desperately trying to scale my freelance business as quickly as possible. Inside, you're gonna find a deep dive on how to get honest with yourself and to leverage the skills and interests that you naturally possess so you can work with the clients you're actually excited to help grow. I go more in depth on how to find your very own John and how to collaborate with them so you can build something awesome together. I give you the templates I use every day as well as some action items and I work with you every step of the way to get your business from where you're at now to where you actually want to be. So if this all sounds exciting and you're ready to take your freelance photography and filmmaking business to the next level, then get enrolled today and I'll see you inside.